This is where you live. I'm Shaw TV producer Kevin Neal, joined today with Melissa Barcelos, the manager of economic development at the city of Prince George. Melissa, what are some of the incentives to help Prince George businesses? The city of Prince George currently offers two different incentive packages. One is the downtown incentive, also known as the RTE program, as well as a multifamily incentive program. So tell us a little bit more about those two incentives. So the downtown incentive program offers a 10 year tax exemption on the municipal portion of taxes for eligible multifamily or commercial projects in the downtown zone. Additionally, we have amongst the lowest development cost charges in the country. It also offers to developers of multifamily projects a $10,000 incentive per door of residential. The multifamily incentive program offers either a five-year or 10-year tax exemption on the municipal portion of taxes, as well reduced development cost charges. And for eligible nonprofit units, those development cost charges can be waived. In 2012, the Downtown Incentive Program was initiated as a partnership with Initiatives Prince George, the City of Prince George, and Northern Development Initiative Trust. The purpose was really to vi revitalize the downtown and spur growth and development in that area. Since then, in 2016, we expanded that incentive program to include secondary areas outside of the downtown boundary, but areas where we wanted to see strategic growth. What sort of an impact has these incentives had in Prince George? We've seen a lot of change in Prince George over the last couple of years, and viewers might not realize this, but a lot of projects, specifically in the downtown, have benefited from this incentives program. So some examples could be the CAG, um, the Royal Bank Building, the Ramada Hotel, the new Marriott Hotel, uh, the Riverbend project that's happening for seniors just outside of the downtown core, um, the new BCGEU building, Crossroads Brewery that is scheduled to open soon, and the new pizza place, Batula Burning. What sort of feedback have you been getting from developers? When I meet with site selectors or developers that are looking at Prince George and are exploring a variety of different locations on where to, to initiate their development, um, and I introduce them this incentive program, they're often surprised. Um, it's very competitive. They're telling me that it competes with incentive programs available across Canada, which gives us an advantage in Prince George in attracting their business. And I've actually heard that it's competitive against those incentives programs that are offered in the United States, which are some of the best programs in the world. So we get great feedback and it really helps those businesses with um, their business planning and feasibility studies to enable profitability in their project, which is obviously their number one goal in site selection. The tax incentive program means we're going to have uh, 10 years of basically paying the same taxes as what, uh, what we were paying on before we built this building. Uh, it's going to really help over the next couple of years. Uh, it means that we'll be able to repay our, pay our loan payments a little faster in the beginning, and, uh, save a lot of money that way. Well, this property we had owned for a few years, the plan was to build a different type of structure here, uh, but the costs were prohibitive. It, didn't, uh, it just didn't make sense. When the city came out with their plan, which is a very innovative plan as far as I understand right across the country, uh, it made sense to look at it again. So um, through that and through their information, it crunched some numbers again and uh, it started to make more sense. So we pushed the green button as they say and uh, decided to move forward. We knew that we were going to put a lot of uh, renovations and money into the building so knowing that the value of the building is going to go up and to be able to know what our taxes are static for 10 years was a huge uh, part of the business decision to move downtown and renovate downtown. I fully believe in uh, our downtown. It's it's been uh, it's been on the rise for uh, for a number of years now, and uh, it's the, I think there's no better time to invest in downtown. Well, prices are still low enough to you can you can get property for a reasonable reasonable price. I guess in some areas we're kind of a small community still, and a lot of thinking people want big lots, etc. But we are getting older, uh, and even younger people. That there's a lot of professionals that work downtown. From a point of view, environmental, if you want to save the planet. You can walk more instead of drive. Uh, to me, I think it's the future. Majority of, of cities across country are going to be, they're pushing more and more for demographics downtown. And I, and I don't see Prince George being any different. Grew up in Prince George, loved downtown, always loved downtown. Um, and 
from the time when I grew up, we, all, we always came downtown, but there's really not a lot happening downtown. There's slowly things happening. The other night I was out and there's people walking around. So I think the downtown core is going to slowly bring people back down. We're hoping another brewery will open down here, another, some more restaurants, just get more foot traffic down here. Lastly, if viewers at home want to find out more about this program, where can they go? They can go to princegeorge.ca or contact the Economic Development Office directly. That's great. Thanks so much, Melissa.